Okay, so you probably know that America doesn't have the healthiest population in the world. But did you know that between 2011 and 2016, nearly 50% of people in the United States over the age of 60 had metabolic syndrome? Conditions like high blood pressure, elevated triglycerides, or high blood sugar aren't uncommon, yet many don't know that they're oftentimes associated with one another and are part of a cluster of symptoms called metabolic syndrome. What is metabolic syndrome? I'm glad you asked. Let's break it down. Hey you guys, I'm Austin and today we're going to hone in on metabolic syndrome. This is a cluster of metabolic health risk factors that increase the likelihood of certain diseases and biological dysfunction. This includes a multitude of conditions like cancer, heart disease, dementia, type 2 diabetes, and chronic inflammation. A diagnosis of metabolic syndrome is a glaring sign that one's metabolic health is in jeopardy and that something's gone wrong with the process of breaking down food into energy. Metabolic syndrome is made up of five distinct risk factors. The first, a waist circumference over 40 inches for men and 35 inches for women. Second, elevated triglycerides. Third, low HDL cholesterol. Fourth, elevated blood pressure. And lastly, elevated fasting blood sugar. Living with even one of these risk factors from that list could cause concern, but the chance of developing disease increases greatly with each additional risk factor. There are a number of causes and conditions associated with metabolic syndrome. Excess weight and obesity can be a strong indicator, especially in the case of abdominal obesity. This is because visceral fat, the type that wraps around your organs, can impair liver function. This can lead to glucose intolerance as well as inflammation, which can increase insulin resistance and high blood pressure. Now, of course, the number that appears on the scale doesn't tell the full story. Metabolic health complications like insulin resistance and diabetes also affect normal weight people, which makes it easy for dysfunction to fly under the radar. And although age and race are factors that aren't in our control, they're worth paying attention to. These metabolic health complications have been shown to be the most typical among people of Hispanic ethnicity and people of Asian descent are predisposed to both metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is an underlying cause of metabolic syndrome and it occurs when cells don't recognize or respond to insulin as efficiently. This leaves ample amounts of glucose in the bloodstream and extends the amount of time it takes for blood sugar levels to normalize. This triggers more insulin production, leading to hyperinsulinemia. Now, if any of the aforementioned risk factors describe the current state of your health, don't stress. There's hope for anybody to restore their body to the condition it's supposed to be in. As you may know by now, making positive lifestyle changes can reduce your risk for severe issues. So here are five steps you can take to strengthen your metabolic health. The first, lose weight if necessary. If you're overweight, talk to your doctor about moderately reducing calories and opt for a diet of whole foods that are low in carbs and sugar. This will work well with exercise to help avoid major fluctuations in blood sugar and insulin. The second, try to eat better. To treat and prevent metabolic syndrome, the American Heart Association recommends a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, skinless poultry, fish, nuts, lean meat, and vegetable protein. This is consistent with research supporting the health benefits of a Mediterranean diet. The third, get moving. Experts recommend 150 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of intense exercise a week. If you're looking for a good place to start, try going on walks, doing shorter sessions of high intensity workouts, or even resistance training with bands or cables. The fourth, manage stress. Chronic stress exacerbates several markers for metabolic syndrome. Cognitive behavioral therapy and mindfulness practices can help you learn to self-regulate your emotional reactions to chronic stressors. And lastly, get the right amount of quality sleep. Research indicates that even one night of sleep deprivation reduces insulin sensitivity, so aim to get between seven and eight hours of undisturbed sleep every night. If you wanna know more about the ins and outs of metabolic syndrome, you can refer to our full length blog post that's linked in the description of this video. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel for more content on all things metabolic health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.